Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you if this game's through time and bandwidth. Today's game is Pocky and Rocky Reshrine, an SNES classic revitalized and re-released. Is this arcade overhead shooter still divine? Let's find out. Pocky and Rocky Reshrine is a remake of the cult classic Natsume SNES game, done by the same team and in a similar style to Wild Guns and Ninja Saviors. The story here is a sequel to the previous Pocky and Rocky games, where Shrine made in Pocky and Tanuki Rocky once again have to deal with some big bad jerk making all the yokai angry. There's slightly more plot here, with Pocky having her soul removed from her body so she possesses other warriors throughout time, allowing for more playable characters, but ultimately it's still just very simple. Gameplay is unique. At first glance you'd think this was a twin stick shooter and you'd be wrong. We return to an era where a controller only had one d-pad, where you move and aim on the same stick and will only fire in the direction that you're facing. There is nuance here though, as you not only can get various tiers of upgrades for your ranged attacks, from exploding fire to spread shots and unique powers, but also have a melee attack that both pushes enemies away but more importantly deflects or deletes incoming bullets. Mastering this is core to many bosses. You also have a dive to get out of danger or you can ram to a co-op buddy for pinball antics, and across each stage you'll earn coins which can be spent on secret shops for a roulette chance at upgrades. It should be mentioned this game is difficult, especially early on. Getting hit not only takes life but often downgrades your weapon, with only a chance of that power up popping out so you can pick it up again. Dying drops you to square one, and you have limited lives before you have to continue on a checkpoint. Early stages often have mid-level bosses followed by exceptionally great end bosses, though later stages in the nine usually just have final bosses or are just bosses. After beating single player story mode, you unlock free play where you and a friend can play together as two of the game's five characters. There's also an easy mode that has to be unlocked by gathering 3,000 coins across your runs. And that's Pocky and Rocky Reshrined, another remaster of a cult classic SNES game with improved visuals, controls, levels, and a lengthier story. So what do I like about Pocky and Rocky Reshrined? Well, the game looks absolutely gorgeous, boosting up already fantastic art direction from Japanese mythology and ramping it up with tons of charming character, modern pixel art, and great animations. Additionally, gameplay is a solid challenge, best in co-op with a high difficulty but generally fair overall, allowing for even mid-level players to eventually one see see it. And lastly, there are solid improvements here over the original game, such as mid-stage checkpoints, tons of new characters and bosses, more complex missions, and more upgrades. It is definitely a love letter to the original game. When it comes to the bad, as mentioned, this game's difficulty is very high, which is fine, but it's also very uneven. I found the game's first three missions, particularly level two, much harder than almost anything that followed, making it very difficult for newcomers to just jump in and have fun. Speaking of jumping in and have fun, having to unlock co-op in easy mode is just a really odd choice. Yes, you can enter a code to get co-op early, but considering that's a core element of the original, and the game is much funner to player, gating both is bizarre. And lastly, purists will yell at me, but a modern control scheme for twin stick aiming would have gone a long way into making this not only feel more modern, but also be more accessible to newcomers. There's also a lot of weird small issues with control, such as some weird input lag if you're firing an attempt to dodge, and I also found some hit detection odd as well. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother, and Pocky and Rocky Reshrined is an excellent return to an oft-forgotten franchise and a love letter to those who cared about it. While I do wish it had done more to entice new players to the franchise, with more accessibility options and a story mode that could be played co-op, those who enjoy arcade overhead shooters at high challenge will find tons of charm, action, and fun with this remake. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played Pocky and Rocky Reshrined, have you played either of the two original games on the Super Nintendo or even that old arcade game, please let me know what you think in the comments. But regardless, if you love a challenge, make sure you play Pocky and Rocky Reshrined.